Hey gang, Zippo. I just realized I've never pulled out uh, the, the pride in my group of guns. Um, this is a pre-20th century uh, German Mauser, chambered in 9mm Luger. It was uh, switched over at some point, and this was carried along with its sequential brother by a German officer that uh, Commander Bunch, who later became mayor of Muncie, Indiana, um, took into custody and he brought these two um, German Mausers home, the C96. Uh, this particular one has a 4.75 inch barrel and is a 6 shot. These are a top loader with the uh, zip strips. Let me show you here. The safety off, hammer back, slide back. And as you can see, it is unloaded. Okay, and I'm not going to load it, I'm just going to show you. Now, these are 10 round clips, obviously, four are going to stay in the clip, but it's got this area right here, and that's right where the strip goes in. You just simply push them down with your thumb, get the six rounds in there. Pull your strip clip out. As soon as you pull your strip clip out, what happens is the obviously you've got six rounds in there, so this drops down, and the hammer comes, or excuse me, the slide comes forward, and it is ready to fire. It is locked and loaded. Okay, you cannot put it on safety with the hammer cocked. I'm gonna decock it. Put safety back on. Uh, there are a number of different variants uh, to this gun that spanned from the late 1800s to the 1930s. Um, there were also a couple of other manufacturers that copied them. Um, this one is, as you can read here, uh, the real deal, the early version. Like I say, it's a 4.75 inch long barrel. Uh, I think it's 7.63 millimeter is what it was originally chambered in and most of these they're called broom handles most of them what they had was a large red nine uh, the nine was burned into it and then it was paint filled with uh, red paint and um, the pair and where the other one is I don't know Captain Bunch gave my grandfather uh, one and I believe his nephew the other one um, and it really sucks because they're sequential. You got 877 is the last three digits of the serial number. See it right there. It's also right down there. And it's there. It's on every piece of the uh, every piece of the firearm. You can see. There. And this particular one's windage goes from 50 meters up to 500 meters in 50 degree increments. We've got the 100, 200, 300, 400, 500 on the right. On the left is 50, 150, 250, 350, 450. Um, also, the markings that are here are repeated on the top of the barrel. Or excuse me, this would be the top of the receiver right there. But just a really neat gun. This is pre nineteen ninety. Excuse me, pre eighteen ninety nine. I don't know the exact year, uh, but it is uh, pre eighteen ninety nine. Um, and like I say, Captain Bunch, who later became mayor of Muncie, um, got these. Got two of these off of a German officer, and they both came in wooden holsters. Check that out. Isn't that cool? Firearms left right down in there and close it down. Now, these would have had a leather scabbard type deal over it with a strap so you could uh, wear the strap around your neck. Um, they also have the lanyard ring at the base of them. Uh, some people say you count the number of grooves uh, to get the vintage. There's a lot of different things you can check on these to, to get the year narrowed down. This particular set of grips has 29 grooves in it. And 
course, as I started to say, the German officer that had it had him had it converted to the nine millimeter. So the uh, tops, the barrels, and receiver were both replaced um, with a nine millimeter, and they are six groove, not four groove. So it was a later uh, modification um, on an early frame. Something else uh, about the wood holster that's really cool is it also becomes the gun's shoulder stock. Close it up, I'll turn it over. You can see it's got this spring loaded clip on it, and then the back strap on the firearm. Just slide the two of them together, and it locks into place. And that gives you I'll step back so you can see the whole thing here. Gives you a, a rifle type grip, which I thought was kind of cool. But I just want to share with you guys um, I, of all the different uh, gun videos I've done, I don't believe I've ever pulled the Mauser out for its uh, little shot in the limelight. So there you have it. Uh, any questions, if I can answer them, go ahead and ask. Um, I'm not super up to date with it. I don't know all of the exacting specifications. I don't consider myself a collector of the C96. I just happen to have one. Um, so I'm not uh, all gung-ho in the way of knowing every single itty bitty little tidbit about it. But if you got a question, ask me. If I can answer it, I will. If I can, I'll try to point you to a website or two that can help you. Um, and no, it absolutely is not for sale today, nor will it be for sale in my lifetime. So, don't ask. Please, don't ask. This is Zippo. Later, I'm out.